So today I talked so much about weak teams, how I see the World Cup, how it might pan out and everything. So it's good to talk again about results and things that were happening. Um, the big game in Group A was not that big of a game. In fact, after about 25 minutes, it was all decided. Uruguay got up by two goals. First goal by Suarez, which actually um, was a very, very curious free kick. I have to say, first of all, the fact that I think it was Golovin bulldozed two Uruguay players out of the wall so that the goalkeeper has a better side. The problem is at the moment that uh, Suarez is making his shot, uh, he is in mid-air and therefore cannot react on time and Suarez scores a free kick in the goalkeeper's corner, in a way. So yeah, uh, kind of a weird goal, but it was fine. Uh, then um, the second goal is deflection and now the Russian player's name is Case Mr. One, who actually scored quite some goals so far. Now he has an own goal to boot as well. Um, they were discussing whether to give it to the Uruguayan defender, um, who later played a wonderful pass to Suarez, who just could not control it uh, well. But that was a great pass, reminded me of De Boer on Bergkamp in the 98 quarterfinal against Argentina. Um, but first they gave it to the defender again. Name now escapes me, I'm sorry about that. Uh, just too many things happening. Kids wanting many things from me at the moment. Tonight is steady evening. I'm very happy about that. But uh, yeah, in order to get the time to make this video, uh, you got to do things first. And then I don't have the time to look up the, uh, the players' names. Uh, again, they wanted to give it to the Uruguayan defender, but given the deflection, the way of the deflection, it was clear that this should be um, uh, own goal. And I think we are now at the record for own goals, and it's most of those are just weird deflections that might have at other times been given to uh, the striker who made the shot. But I think it's the right it's the right call to do it that way. And then Russia got a yellow red card. At which point I was so tired still from yesterday and from work today, and maybe you saw it in, in the videos, I just took a nap. Um, and I don't think I missed that much. I saw most of the second half then. Uh, yeah, it was all Euro uh, Russia trying a little bit. Maybe they could have gotten a goal, but Cuba, I think, uh, mishandled one chance quite badly. And in the last few minutes it was all, let's get Cavani his goal. And he got his goal. Uh, so we have now Cavani as a scorer in three different World Cups. S is Suarez, as far as I can remember. And Uruguay uh, puts Russia down to earth uh, in Samara, which is kind of a little bit ironic given that Samara is the space capital, from what I heard, of uh, Russia. The other game, I didn't see a thing, I just read. Uh, it was a surprising win for Saudi Arabia. Egypt got the lead through Salah. Then there was a penalty uh, through VAR that was kind of maybe a bit contentious. That was then saved by the oldest player in World Cup history now, the Egyptian goalkeeper. Then another penalty, I think this was even more um, VAR. Uh, this VAR backed the decision up, but was maybe more contentious, at least from what I read. I really have to uh, see it, and uh, I don't know when I, when, when I will find the time to watch those highlights. 1-1, um, one, one, uh, late in the first half, uh, extra injury time of first half. Uh, and then from what I read, it was just a um, game that was going very slowly. And it was, again, in injury time, Saudi Arabia got a surprising winner. I personally was surprised about the Jersey matchup. I thought Saudi Arabia plays at home in white and Egypt in red. So I don't get why Saudi Arabia was playing in green and Egypt in white with black pants. It's again one of those. Uh, this was all pointing to Egypt in red and black and Saudi Arabia in all white. Maybe someone can enlighten me. The Russia matchup was all right. Um, the Uruguay in their home kit, um, which is a classic. Um, 
it this time at least very uh, simple i just don't like that the black collar doesn't wrap all the way around that there's the raglan sleeves that kind of break up the collar which makes it look a little bit weird but then the nice little uh cut flag detail at the sun on the front uh looks nice um you also uh the swiss home jersey has the same cut and has all those dots you don't see that uh, well, uh that much on the light white jersey which is actually an improvement so uh that jersey looked quite uh or all, all right and might be the uruguay jersey that i want to have i need a uruguay jersey there are future i need to make a video about jerseys uh, of, of world cup teams and non-world cup national teams that i really would like to have because i find uh i don't have that many there are some groups where i don't have a single jersey and i have quite some but with the Netherlands and Italy missing, I'm and the US, uh, there are three nations that I have jerseys from that I don't have here. So yeah, it's, I think groups A, B, C, D I have, E I have, F I have, G I don't have a single jersey, and H I don't have a single jersey. And those are there groups. Those are groups where actually there are teams in there where I would like to have a jersey. Well, so overall the matchup was fine. The Russian shirt. Um, it is okay, but I don't get the silvery dots that all over uh, the place. Uh, they had such a wonderful away jersey four years ago where you saw the blue earth and that. Uh, I, wonderful. I really liked it. Um, it was at a time when Russia was getting the news for all the wrong reasons and they pulled an, a jersey out. Both jerseys had made a reference to the space, the Soviet space program, and they should have done something similar here. Make or make at least some pattern here that gives some connection to Russian culture. Something a little bit more than uh, just this yeah, seemingly random dot pattern there in silver. It looks all right, but it's weird. For a host nation, I would expect more. But then when Adidas had the last host nation for South Africa, they didn't do something particularly well either. So I guess they are not interested. I really, I really would. I think this is a missed opportunity and that's why I don't like this jersey as much. Well, that's Group A in the books. We have Uruguay. Now I think Spain and Portugal will probably go for first place in order to avoid Uruguay. And I think, um, first place in this group will actually ensure safer passage uh, towards the end of the tournament. So I think I can see two interesting games there and maybe uh, the intent of scoring goals. You don't, you, I don't think any of those two wants to play Uruguay. And if it's really a Portugal-Uruguay matchup, that's gonna be a tough, tough, tough to watch game. Two defensively solid teams with one superstar striker on one side and who counts maybe for three and then two superstar strikers on the other side. Um, smells like zero zero even now. Well, that's my thoughts on finishing off group A and I will talk to you soon. Maybe tomorrow in the morning. I'm not sure uh, how far it will go, uh, whether I'll get to do a video this evening. If not, I'll do one in the morning. Let me know in the comments what you thought about all my thoughts and what you think about Group A and so on. And I'll talk to you soon. If you enjoyed this video, please hit like and subscribe to my channel. If you've already done so, I would like to thank you for your support. It is very much appreciated. Also, check out the accompanying blog at the link provided in the description below and at the end of this video. Thank you for watching and until next time.